Um, was, was this your choice of topic or did you just click on this? No, uh, it interests me. So when it's uh, oh, overthinking, that's interesting. So why not? Uh huh. Okay. So what's uh, what's what's your connection with the topic? Are you someone who uh, tends to tends to overthink, or do you know people who who do this? Well, I don't really overthink things, but I've seen a lot of people who does this uh, overthinking, and it's very negative of how I see it. Because people uh, overthink simple things, they it becomes more negative, and it brings them down, and sometimes they hurt themselves because of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I, I, from 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 what you say, if I understand this correctly, people are thinking and not doing. Basically, that that's what you're saying, right? They're 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 thinking about what I should what I should do. What should I do? Is it like this? Is it like that? Do I go here? Do I go there? And then and they go over and over the the idea again in their mind, and they don't make a decision. To, yes, do, to, do, to do something because if you make a decision to do something then things change or something should change and that should cause you to move in some direction either positively or negatively and then you make another decision yeah, yeah. so um, the, the problem is perhaps less that people are thinking and more because there's nothing basically wrong with thinking but more that people are not making decisions yeah yes. and I think from from perspective, not making decisions, not making the right decision, um, is is one of the single biggest problems that exist in in the world. That yeah. people are thinking about what they want, they're thinking about what they want. To do. Everything seems so distant, and so far away that, and they're not taking a bigger problem, you know, chunking it, breaking it into smaller parts, and you know, taking the small steps that they need to take to get to get things done. And 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 over overthinking is you know a, a, a classic example of, of that kind of problem. Yeah, it's overthinking is like a a slump where you you're stuck at it. You can't really move forward because yeah, you're stuck in that same position thinking about that thing over and over again. If you should do this or not, and you end up doing nothing. So yeah, you do you don't accomplish anything. Yeah, and. Very often, a problem exists not because of uh, all of the present elements coming together, but because of the past experiences that a person has had. So, uh, very often, a person. Sorry. Trauma. Trauma. Okay. Can be oh yeah, ab ab absolutely. Um, or just. Uh, yes. Continue. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, well, I was thinking that it's very often a lack of responsibilities, from, from my perspective. I mean, trauma, trauma is an extreme lack of responsibility because trauma is the result of being forced to do things that you don't want to do, basically. Yeah, in, in both a positive and negative sense. Um, but uh, this, this, uh, this, this idea that that people don't. I, I think have a lot of freedom often to make choices that they that they need to make, or have a lot of experience with people around about them explaining to them how to make choices in the right way. Um, a classic example: you go to school and everything is laid out in front of you. Your your courses, your timetable, your teachers, your books, where you should be, when you should be, what you should do, and okay, you get to choose this subject or that subject, but it's only small choices. In a very, in a in a very big system, and you can't really change the course a lot. And if you can't change the course, you don't learn to develop any responsibility because because you don't learn consequences. And if you, you don't learn consequences, you don't learn anything at all. Yeah, that is so true. Um, uh, for me, I think one of the things that lacks in uh, in uh, educational system is uh, teaching kids or teens how to make choices it's not all books it's not all equations you know it, people need to learn how about themselves these personality develop how you should make choices in your life it's not always choice a b or c it's not that simple in they need to prepare these kids not only for educational purposes for their jobs but also for themselves things that they will face not everything is learned 
things they lack. Oh yeah, there's um, <laughs> there's a lot of lack within the system. Um, I, I think there's 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 a fear to let young people choose the things they want to choose because, and and the fear is quite rightly there because the, the young people will choose to do something different, right? I mean, give young people a choice not not to go to school, and they will not go to school. You know, because they, they they don't value what is there a lot of the time. Or, you know, if if you have that kind of system where in, in some uh, free school Western systems, the students can choose their teachers, right? I mean, you uh, imagine, right? You'd have two or three classrooms with everybody in those classrooms and all the others would be empty, right? <laughs> right? That there's, 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 there's very little accountability there with, within the system and you know teachers tend very much to to to, to unfortunately just be cogs in, in a very large machine and uh, there, there's very little flexibility in, in top down systems with, with what they can do you do find the, the odd inspirational teacher who makes a great difference in people's lives but, but there's they're few and far between, unfortunately, unfortunately, in, in the modern modern system. So, if, if we're looking at overthinking, what, what do you think are <laughs> thinking about overthinking? That's kind of right. Um, um, what, what do you think are some of the, the ways or methods that people could could avoid this or, or or get around the problem? Do you have any solutions that that you can think? Well, of? for me, to this, over, uh, this, uh, this is a way overused already to think less of things, not in a negative way, but for a simple yes or no question. You don't have to make it to a big one. Like if I say yes, it will happen, this on, this on, and this on. It will go on and on. You will not know what will happen unless you actually try it. You, you will, the stages of like teen years in high school, college, these are the years where you learn, where you learn you make mistakes. You learn. Mm. That's one of the things. People around you need. Uh, you need people around you to help you, to help you make choices, to help you not overthink. You ask people's opinion, not to be followed, but make it as an option. Mm -hmm. This person uh, made a suggestion. Maybe I should do this. I'll counter that as a suggestion, but I will still be the one who makes the decision. But whatever it comes, whatever it uh, happens, I I know I need to be sure and confident in what I do. If I made a mistake, okay, accept it and then move on. You don't have to overthink things. Learn how to like try, go for it. You know, you only live once, as they say. Yeah, um, you know, better. Th th these things are easy to say. So it's so easy to say it's better to regret something you have done than something you haven't. But to 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 make that that step to 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 the next level of changing your habits is is it, it's only one decision at one point in time, and you can do it. But it. The process of getting to that decision might 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 be very difficult for a person because there are a lot of um, mental barriers. One thing you mentioned about school that it's it's really important that in school it's 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 a great environment to experiment because it's a pretty safe place to make mistakes. You make a mistake in school, and you know you get a little little li a little punishment, and people you know move, move on with their lives. But when you if when you're out in the real world, and you yeah. you screw up and you make a mistake, you know it's crazy, right? I mean, you can go to prison, people can die. It's it, it's it's pretty it, it's pretty extreme, and there are there are huge consequences. And I I think or uh, you know I feel that school should prepare people more to, to understand consequences, to understand the effects of action, to understand that that not all of the effects that you that, that, that you think will happen will happen. There are there are unintended consequences sometimes. There's there's collateral damage. It's it's difficult. Yeah. That is true. Yeah. Um also, a big part of this of how to teach uh, is about kids. Also, teens. when people teach them, they'll be like, "Oh, they're gonna do this. Oh, this won't happen anyway." 
you know those people they're so sure that things won't happen they don't think that oh this there's actually a possibility but they all they need to do is to focus they need to focus on you know a certain track a certain way of how they will get things done you, either if you go to go for positive of it mostly it will help if you go to, uh, like think positively and things that happen rather than negative because it brings out illness you know it, mm-hmm. like they bring out uh, depression anxiety they and then most people choose to be locked up in a box and rather to be out there making choices they they stay the one who is thinking should i go out should i mm-hmm. try this should i go to school should i study should i work should i go to school today it's a never ending question of why Oh yeah, absolutely. And I think there's a large part of society that has issues with that because, you know, the schooling hasn't been effective. Um parenting for a lot of the young people hasn't been effective. And then you see the rise of, you know, a, well, I, what I would call a, a home-based culture, people playing computer games or people using people using apps for dating because it's easier. Yeah, yeah. Here, you can find one click and there's an mate. Well, well, it's it, it things. These things are not meant to be easy. These things are meant to be complex so that you rise to the challenge. You know, right. dating, dating is not meant to be a swipe. It's meant to be a, a a challenge of human interaction. It's meant to be going out and meeting people and going through the emotional experiences and and being in the same space and understanding the body language and learning to deal with rejection. Because these these dating apps appear to me to have taken out this element of rejection, where rejection doesn't seem to 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 matter or affect any. Anyone anymore, and we, and I, 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 you seem like an intelligent person who who understands that there's 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 so much that you can learn from failure as much as success and things. Yeah, every successful person went to like a lot of failure stage. They had to rise up again and again. They need to fall. Not, not you need fall. to fall. That's perfect. You're absolutely right. You hit the nail on the head there. Because I, I look right, right now. I'm standing on my my balcony, looking looking down on the street below. And I was watching my I was watching my son rollerblading up and down the street. And I was I was he's eight years old and he's learning to to do this by himself. And I was so nervous. But in the back of my mind, I was also thinking, you need to fall. Yeah, he needs to learn. Every failure, you learn something new. Mm-hmm. You learn from everything. And yeah. also, I think... Oh, uh, yes, go on. Oh, I just want to add to that. And then, and then there was this big thunderstorm. It started to rain. And my son's like, Dad, I want to go out rollerblading again. I'm like, I'm like, it, it, it's raining. There, there's the thunderstorm. It, it's wet everywhere. It's like, Dad, I want to go out rollerblading. And I stopped and I thought, and I was like, okay. <laughs> okay, he's not going to learn. He's not going to learn anything at all if I don't yeah, let him. He needs to know why. Why you're not letting him out? Why? Well, it's, it's, okay. well, he needs to experience why, not just know why. You don't need, you need to just know why. You need to experience why. You can't, you can't just say it to the person. Hey, you, you can't do this because of that. So don't try it. So don't try it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it? Why? Why should I try it? What's so wrong about it? I don't see anything wrong about it, unless they try it. That's when they will know. Because they well, won't the, feel until they try it. Yeah, and the only mistake, the only real mistake, would be me not understanding that I could be wrong. Maybe he's right. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's going to. Maybe he's going to have an experience and learn from that. That that experience something that I couldn't teach him. So um, I mean, we, we've, we've got to realize the world's a big place, and there's a lot of different things you can learn in a lot of different places from a lot of. Different make room, make break room, you know, to make room for new things, to let them all the from everyday, everyday life, life itself is a big book, a worksheet that you need to learn. You need to. Answer. You will get it wrong. You will get it right. It's all. Yeah, you need the challenges. You need the challenges. Hey, we're almost at we're almost at time up for for our discussion here. Put out put out your podcast and where people can contact you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure.